So often, the public thinks that costumes are just shopped. They just happen. But costumes are created by a costume designer. The first time you see an actor on film, you have to know who they are. And most of that is by what they're wearing, before they even say a word. On the Mindy Project, when the first meeting I had with Mindy Kaling, she wanted the clothes to be a statement. And it sort of evolved into this crazy world where the clothes are a major character of the show. We express so much of who she is and what she's thinking through her clothes. And it's really about reading what the character's going through and dressing them appropriately for the scene. It's not just throwing on the perfect dress, it's the perfect dress for the scene, for the mood, and storytelling. What I do every single day is I read a script and I have to interpret what is on that page. So if Shonda Rhimes writes, Olivia Pope strides into the room and the room is full of men in suits, in my head, I instantly think, what is Olivia Pope going to wear in that room? And for me, that usually means a white suit. I particularly like to work in every medium. So I have worked on music videos, commercials, film, television, and even in video games. I designed, which is gonna sound very strange and peculiar to all of you, the costumes for Grand Theft Auto. I got involved in costume design early on um, because I was a dancer on American Bandstand. And it was the first time I actually saw how what I was wearing would influence how much time I was on camera. On the TV show Ray Donovan, there are many challenges in doing the design of the costumes. It's a show that's based in Los Angeles, and we see many different worlds of Los Angeles. Ray, who is dressed impeccably, he has a lot of money, but has to blend into any situation. We really think about every emotion his character might be going through when we're choosing his costumes. 